In this video, we're going to be looking at the Bellroy 10 liter Venger Sling. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the bag and I can show you how well it's held up over the last year. So like I said, I have used this bag just about every single day. It's been the bag that I've used at least 90% of the time. It's gone with me on all of my trips. Um, this last year we went to St. Louis, Montreal, Chicago, and Miami, and it was the only camera bag that I carried for all of those things. I tend to pack pretty light anyway, but um, this really kind of forced me to just take that at another step further. So if we look at the outside of the bag, you can see some of the wear. Um, the Bellroy logo here is a little worn. Um, you can see some scrapes and scratches and, and things like that on the buckles or the metal pieces, but it's really not too bad. My owl has almost completely disappeared off of here, which is unfortunate. Um, the zippers have held up. They're still working as well as they did when I got it. All of the pulls are solid. There's no fraying or tearing in any of the straps here. Uh, a little bit of fraying down here on these guys, but not bad at all, really. One of the things that I was concerned with was the inclusion of like sewn in dividers inside the bag. And I thought it was going to be a real pain, but it's honestly been great. Usually I just keep them out and then keep a few things in there. Um, it's also got these stretchy pockets on the side, which you can help to lock things in a little bit tighter if you need to. And I do utilize those quite often. Um, along the front of the bag here, which is kept up, this is still, I mean, almost looks brand new still. A little battery holder. I tend to keep wires and things like that in here as well. And, you know, I don't even know if you can really tell that I have used this thing in the last year. Um, when it comes to the outside, there's one big pocket here. Zipper is still great. Um, everything's waterproof on these exterior zippers. Um, or not waterproof, but water resistant. And I shot all day yesterday in the rain and didn't notice a drop of water in my actual bag. So that was fantastic. Um, more stretchy stuff. I tend to keep like business cards and things like that in here. Um, no complaints. Honestly, it's it's been pretty fantastic. The adjustable shoulder strap is pretty nice. You kind of throw it over. Hopefully I don't hit the mic too much here. Yeah, you throw it over like that and then you can just like with one hand tighten it across and make it a little closer to your body. It's really great. One hand back opening it up and to get it back off. Fantastic. I like to keep this thing pretty close to me, especially um, I wear this a lot when I'm skateboarding and having it really tight and really close to me. I tend to like keep it around the front side here. So as you can tell, the bag has held up remarkably well. There's barely any like there's marks here and there, but I mean, there's no rips or tears. None of the seams have come undone. There's very little fraying in any of this. But anything that was like structural and that needed to like hold up over time was held up very, very well. Um, the buckles are still strong. I noticed that some people had some issues with the buckles, but I've seen no problems whatsoever with these. Um, even a year in, I don't take them on and off very often, but even when I do, they, they clip back in very easily and I don't have a real issue there. So yeah. Um, all together, the bag has held up remarkably well. It's my favorite bag. I've used it just about every single day for the last year, and I have zero regrets about buying it. Hopefully they'll make another one and update a few of the features on it, um, or maybe even a new colorway or something like that. Um, if they do, I'll definitely be looking to buy it because I love this bag so much. If you have any other questions, if there's something that I missed in this video and you want an answer to, let me know in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or glass at Sean P. Bruce. Thanks so much for watching.